oh my goodness cheers to starting something that I've been wanting to start for a very long time okay hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel my name is Akusia Behini and you're welcome to bed with Behini oh it's so exciting to hear me say that again it's literally so exciting um, to hear myself say it again if you hear anyone in the background that is just my child okay I'm a mom <laughs> so I have my kid in the background um, playing so yeah so hopefully she doesn't you know disturb you guys too much um, but I just wanted to do a quick intro um, for this series that I'm introducing on the channel. It's Bed with Benhini. If you've been following me for a while, especially on my Instagram platform, then you would know or you would remember that I used to have a website. Um, I used to be like a blogger or whatever. I had a website called Bed with Benhini. And to me, that was my platform um, where I could be able to share everything with you. The whole idea was bed. So bed in the sense that being able to be vulnerable with you guys, um, share some life experiences with, with you guys. Hopefully in the future, have some people also share their experiences um, with us on this series i have amazing plans um for this series but in the time being what this is gonna be is sort of like my visual podcast and if you've been also following my vlogs and whatnot for a while you would know that i've been hinting or like you know saying that i've always wanted to start a podcast for the very long time because i'm always like saying really you know having really nice conversations with my friends and myself and whatnot and i've always been wanting to like have um, an outlet where I can share that with you guys because I know that sometimes a lot of people want people to talk to but they don't have anyone to talk to and I find myself in that position a lot so for me bed is just basically having a platform um, where I'm able to like lay everything bare and where you guys are also able to feel comfortable um, and you know free enough to share things I mean I'm happy that in this modern day and age um, we the Millennials and the Gen Z's and whatnot um, are able to share a lot of experiences without shying, um, shying away from social media and to me that is exactly the angle or the view or the vibe that I'm going for alright so um, this series that I'm introducing and I hope that you guys support leave me your honest comments um, but it's just going to be conversational i'm not going to be vlogging i'm not going to be doing my makeup nothing of that sort of course i'll always you know look cute for you uh, <laughs> but this series is just generally conversational um an outlet or a platform in my platform where i get to share um, um life experiences and just generally chat with you guys let's just call this our visual podcast all right the podcast that i've always wanted to do this is that podcast and this is the very first episode and it's an intro so forgive me that it's long but i just wanted to you know just give you guys a brief intro of what the series is going to be and why i decided to do this this is an idea that i have had for a very long time because every time i have a conversation Station with my friends they're like why don't you just say stuff like this on your social media and I'm like oh I don't know I don't know if people are really gonna be like into that vibe but again I hope that you guys enjoy this whole series and I am excited to see where it will go but you're officially welcome to bed with Vahini <laughs> let's go so this very first episode we're talking about adulthood friendship um adulthood friendships so i wrote some pointers down on my phone so if you see me looking at my phone that's exactly what i'm doing um but i'm just gonna be going into you know just generally adulthood adulthood friendships and my experience so far because i think i've had i i think i have some somewhat of like an amazing experience when it comes to um adulthood friendships personally 
I have always struggled with friends. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and whenever I, I, I don't say this lightly because you know whenever you say things like this, people feel people are very quick to say that what if you are the problem? And trust me, I've had days where I've asked myself, what if you are the problem? Okay? What if you are the problem? Why do you keep losing friends? And that's just the truth. And because this is bad, I'm just going to try as much as possible to not hold back anything. This is like my own little therapy session. And I hope it becomes a therapy session to you guys as well. Um, but I've asked myself time without number or time and time again um, that why do you keep losing people like friends not nah, like just losing people but friends um, I have I do have some friends who I have had for over 10 years you know some that I've had for over seven years I have friends you know you know I have a good amount of friends who I've had for a long time but then I also have some friends who I have lost that I never thought that I would lose and that's where this whole conversation stems from for me because i have i have definitely struggled with certain friendships i've struggled with you know um you know sometimes communication and friendships and just generally adulthood friendships as i grow up i have found that it's hard like it's it's a tough thing and i'm saying this from the space or from the view of someone who stepped away from the world for like a good you know like a good six seven years to be a mom and to be a wife and I'm not even gonna lie and if you can relate um, comment below and let me know when I you know when I settled down to have my first baby and my first baby is almost five years at this point but when I settled down to have my first baby I literally stopped doing everything I mean I still had friends who I was still friends with but friends who we weren't so tight, I pretty much cut everybody off. And I had about like, I can say I had about like two, three friends. Um, it's, it's just insane to me now that I think about it. I had about two, three friends and the rest of the people that I had was family. It was just us and I stopped going out, but I still had people who would check on me. I still had people who would regard me as a friend and I had people. And one thing about me, I find it very difficult to like call people. It's just generally something that I find hard to do. You know, I just find it very hard to call people. Um, but then I have, you know, cause sometimes I feel like if we don't really have a lot to talk about, I'm not really going to call you, you know, but then I have you in mind it's not like I'm not thinking about you I have you in mind so sometimes I have like people who I haven't called in days but then you know I still hold you in a good place in my heart um but you know during this time when like I had my baby and everything I just stopped doing everything um I just stopped doing everything and just I don't know it's just like something in me shifted something in me just shifted and I just stopped enjoying everything that I used to enjoy going out partying all of that I just stopped liking that I and then I started having interest in you know I feel like there was some some what of like an awakening within me and a lot of things just I, I had a, outgrown maybe it was growing out of the, out of a lot of things so I just had a few um, number of friends and then I moved here to America and then everything also you know change like, again like com the communication part because I've realized that if you really want um, to maintain an adulthood friendship or friendship as an adult or re friendship relationship as an adult you have to be able to communicate you have to be able to check in with each other you know it doesn't matter how many weeks two weeks one week check in on your friends the people that you claim that you care about and i say this um from a very guilty place because i'm not so good at doing that because like i just said i'm not so good at calling people but 
again if you want to be able to maintain certain relationships so i try to you know i try my best so sometimes i have my friends like my best friend sometimes sometimes i'll just text him and i'll be like hi hello bye <laughs> you know like and then i'm like i'm just checking on you i'm just checking on you i'm not trying to have a conversation with you and i'm very grateful with um the kind of friendship and the relationship that i have with my best friend because we just don't stress like I can we we can stop we, we're not talking for like three weeks and it's not like we're arguing or no like but when it's time for the vibes to come when it's time for us to have a conversation we can be on the phone for two hours straight and it's a vibe catching up you know um you know just checking in um you know telling each other you know our achievements so far you know and then just also pushing each other to be the best versions of ourselves and i'm just really grateful and then sometimes i'm always saying that i'm not just saying i'm praying that the kind of friendship that i have with my best friend i'm able to find that with just a you know with just a female you know because my best friend is male so um sometimes i just want to be able to find that with the female but it is such a struggle it is such a struggle and i'm saying this to say that i recently just lost friendship relationship with a very close friend of mine and i don't think i've ever opened up i, I maybe i have but i don't think i've really opened up about this um on this platform and it was sickening i'm not gonna lie and people i guess people don't really talk about how much i'm losing a friendship relationship with someone that you never thought you were gonna lose the friendship relationship with can hit you it literally hit me like a heartbreak and I don't think that I felt like that about like a friendship before because I guess I thought that this friend was never gonna go away I thought that we're going to be friends forever and it just taught me a lesson never feel reluctant okay like it taught me a lesson never feel too reluctant in any friendship that you have again like you i don't know how to say but you might have had a friend that you've had for long so i don't want to say that never feel reluctant because it happened to me that sounds very selfish uh but it just it happened to me <laughs> like it happened to me and um what happened was we just we never talked about what happened and like it was over many i'm not gonna lie it was over money i'm not trying to even go into it too much but it was over money but i was expecting that as adults we were going to be able to talk about it and you know talk about it because again we've been friends for like over seven years at this point we should be able to talk about stuff right that's my thinking I'm thinking that at this point you're like my sister so even when I wrong you or when I'm in the wrong you should be able to talk to me about it and not just like ghost me like we didn't have anything to do or we didn't have a friendship or we didn't you know like we didn't have like a seven year whole friendship you know like we, you know so um, dealing with friendship breakups is also a whole nother thing um, that it literally shifts you it shifts your mind it shifts your perception it, sh it just shifts your whole general you know appearance to the world and the reason why I'm saying this is because it when that happened to me and then now I like when that happened to me and then now I go I go to work you know I have people at work and I'm trying to open up to people and be friends and whatnot it is hard because then, then you're like you don't know who to trust you don't know who to open up to you don't know if what if this friendship doesn't last you know what I'm saying like what if this friendship becomes like the last one like but then also you tell yourself if you don't allow yourself um to learn or if you don't open up yourself you're really not gonna find out what is out there and a lot of people will say um why like you know just be friends with yourself and i'll get to that point that is definitely also a point on its own but i am the girl who believes in you know having like a cute little female tribe at least a friend or two i definitely appreciate friend time okay i'm a mom i have a an amazing family i have a husband <laughs> yes you know she's rapping in the background okay <laughs> i have 
an amazing husband i love him i appreciate him so much he's literally my friend he's my best friend i you know that's my person and so i you know i love the fact that i have this tribe but i'm also the girl who definitely loves to have a good sister sister tribe okay like i love to have me a good friend you know friend or two i've never really been good with like group friends um i feel like it's always there's always going to be you know two people who are friends more than the other two or like two people who are friends more than the other one there's always going to be a third wheel that's just my opinion comment below if you feel like i am um if you feel like i'm wrong for saying that or if you feel like you have a different experience um but i feel like three friends is always just i don't know like i don't know maybe four okay but even four two will be friends and two will be friends so i always like having just like that one friend and plus i'm a gemini so sometimes i really get into my head about things and i'm like um uh, no nah. especially when i see one thing and sometimes i just see one thing and i'm like okay no nah, okay that's definitely a friendship red flag and we have friendship red flags okay we do have friendship red flags we have things that when you see them they just turn you off you're like no nope you're not about to be my friend sis bye <laughs> bye <laughs> stay there like <laughs> and i feel like just having been in indoors being a mom yada yada always just creating content and being by myself for a very long time has made me like scared of the world if that's how i want to put it and it's very hard for me to like right now open up to people especially after going through what i went through i'm like no no like if you're not gonna be grown enough to talk to me about stuff don't come into my circle like i am too grown to not have a communication about anything you have to be able to talk to me we have to be able to talk about what is going on okay i have to know what's going on in your head you have to know what's going on in my head you can't just assume and no we're not doing that okay we're not doing we're too grown for that and i don't have time for that so no no i'd ra i'd rather be alone and be with my family than you know be in a friendship that we don't know how to communicate no we're not doing that it's not happening N not here um another thing that i've realized with adulthood friendships is building boundaries is sometimes very hard because sometimes when you um one party starts to build boundaries and the other party doesn't know how to build boundaries or doesn't know anything about boundaries at all it's a whole problem because it's like sis you don't know how to you don't you haven't like matured or grown or like you haven't learned a lot of things about yourself or you, you like you don't and that's okay but i know how to build boundaries because even i have boundaries for myself so in my friendship i expect us to have boundaries it is just we're grown as people i pay my own bills you pay your own bills and i do what i want to do at what time but also respectfully respecting the relationship and the friendship that we have as two adults so that's the angle that i'm coming from so building boundaries generally it's not about like you're doing too much or you're like you're you know acting like you're all that or you know no we're grown people and boundaries always needs to be in place otherwise people just be acting crazy no so um i found that i have found that building boundaries also as an adult can be sometimes hard especially with female friendships it's like people feel like or sometimes people feel like they can do anything or say anything or like you know but no <laughs> and then also sometimes you also don't want to make it too tight you know like it has to be free it has to be you know a vibe and that's that's where it's just finding that vibe sometimes is hard so i'll say that if you have that tribe if you have someone that you have that vibe with as a friend be grateful for them if you have someone who checks in on you who's just genuinely a good friend to you hold them high okay or hold them close to your chest because it is very hard to find that right now out here in these streets and um again i've said i've said it before and i'll say it again i have asked myself time and time again if i am the problem or if i could be the problem and i think i think i've come to a conclusion that no i'm not the problem um i don't think i have too many boundaries in my life i think i'm just right and fair okay and i think that with time you know the right tribe will find me 
and with saying that i also want to say that if you're like me in a place where you're struggling to find that right tribe or that right um sister tribe for yourself then um start by trying to find yourself or being your own friend and this is something that my supervisor at work told me and it sat with me so well um i also watched a video on youtube and the lady said that i'm like that's a tip i'll take that you know um be start by being your own friend okay be your own cheerleader the things that you expect a friend to tell you tell yourself okay if you do something and you feel like you need someone to give you a nice chair aside you know like your partner you know and i feel like i have that feeling because i don't have my mom around i lost my mom when i was 18 and i um you know so i feel like i have that thing where i need or like feel like I have to have like a sister friend and I have sisters don't get me wrong but a friend is different from a sister okay that's just what I'll say <laughs> so um this definitely start by being your own friend it's something that I started doing and I have loved it for myself okay I don't wait around I, I literally don't wait around for people to tell me to do something or for people to cheer me on about something that I did especially in um especially when it comes to friends I would just say to myself I will gas myself up in front of the mirror I'll tell myself how I look good I'll tell myself how I love um the content that I just created or how the photo looks good you know like I will be that friend for myself and I love that for me it has put my mind in a whole different place where at this point I'm not even like looking for a friend I just know that with time that friend will find me like that vibe will just it's just a vibe like when you see someone and it's a vibe the vibe will just come and you it will not be forced just like a relationship it shouldn't be forced just I that's how I feel I feel like with friendships just like a relationship friendships should not be forced and ju that is just my general opinion on what friendships um, should be so start by being your own friend start by saying positive things to yourself laughing with yourself you know hey girl to yourself it might sound crazy it might look crazy or whatever but do it to yourself and trust me that will show you the things that you want to be done to you that will show you the things that you expect out of a friendship you know the more you do it to yourself the more you apologize to yourself show mercy to yourself show yourself um a lot of like love and whatnot in the mirror you know that just shows you that you expect to have a friend who will cheer you up but then also make you know that when you're doing the wrong thing you know and that's just what it is that's a big tip that I've always used um, for myself and I'll say that that's a tip that I'd like to share with you guys if you you know if you're struggling with finding friends right now oh my goodness I feel like I've definitely exhausted pretty much everything every pointer that I have on my phone right now but I am so happy that I was able to you know share all of this with you again generally adulthood adulthood friendships are hard it's a struggle if you're struggling with having friends right now start with being your own friend and also if you're dealing with a friendship breakup hacks out to you okay virtual hacks out to you and also if you have that good sister tribe or that good one friend who is you know that person to you keep them be grateful for them show them how much you appreciate them and try to spend as much time as you can with them communicate that's one thing that we're gonna be working on this year and yeah I'm happy that I was able to record the very first episode of bed with Benhini <laughs> comment below let me know if you have any questions or also share your experiences um, on adulthood friendships what would you say your general experience and I'm not gonna lie I have definitely been very open in this video I said a lot of things that I didn't even think I would say but um, if you don't mind opening up also um, share some of your experiences with me in the comment below I'm excited to be doing this with you guys um, show me some love all right give me all of the support that you can and push your girl okay I just need moral support at this point so just let me know that you guys like this episode and um, so that the next episode can come out so <laughs> I will see you guys in the next episode Love you, subscribe to the channel, and mwah, bye! <laughs>